Greetings to everybody. Welcome. So I'm happy to introduce the full moon practice. So this full moon practice we have been continuously doing for five years. Thanks to many volunteering people, our Cyber Sangha team, all the practice people who have been guiding the practice. It's a teamwork. And behind the scene, there's so many people involved and I want to thank each one of you. I'm so, so grateful for your support that everybody is able to come together every month, once a month, practicing together. So, so thank you so much for that. And this year's particularly a topic is the inner refuge. And as of all of you know, I've been teaching the Inner Refuge for many years and I will be teaching Inner Refuge for continuously the rest of my life. And this is what I practice every single day. I teach to people who are much more advanced. I teach to totally new beginner. I try to apply this in my own life practices with my every situation, challenging situation, with my life, with my family, raising teenage. This has been truly my own inner refuge. And I would like to this year to everybody experience this, the actually power of this inner refuge, the protection of inner refuge and the guidance that comes from inner refuge. So welcome for that. And the reason why I choose this in a refuge, uh, first of all, I think it's a very universal that uh, if you talk in one way, it becomes one specific tradition, one culture. But if you speak in another way, it becomes very universal. This basically the reason why it's very universal. This is the true essence of ourselves, the true essence of who we are. And every suffering, every conflict, every pain, every sickness, it's just simply coming out of loss of connection to ourselves, to this inner refuge. Every loss is coming out or because of we lost the connection to inner guidance from this inner refuge. Every consequences that we suffer we, f we feel not the connection to that inner refuge. We don't feel the protection from that inner refuge. That's why we, we suffer so much. And so uh, it's very universal. So I think that's very important that each one of you, you have direct access to it all the time. And uh, the another thing is also it's very personal. So that that means that every given moment that you have direct access to it right away in that place at that time uh, with that situation in yourself, direct access to that inner refuge is all the time with you. I think that that is also what makes it very, very special. And and also it is absolutely to the point. Uh, what I mean by it to the point means that every time that we uh, get sick, when we are difficult to um, accept our sickness, accept our pain, uh, difficulty to accommodate the different new situation, uh, difficulties with processing it, uh, difficulties with able to go beyond it. And, and we, of course, we seek about, we invoke Buddha, Dharma, Sangha. Uh, you can uh, invoke Christ. You can invoke whoever different tradition. You can have your own uh, a sense of refuge. But one thing is common to all of us, despite the different religion, is the inner refuge, the refuge within ourselves, the formless essence refuge, which is common to all of us together. It's universal. 
but it's also very, very personal. So that very moment when we are able to bring our attention to inward, to ourselves, and uh, when we feel that some sense of uh, refuge, connection to that, we are immediately, we, f we feel more peace, we feel more strong, we are able to see differently, we are able to accommodate these suffering and pain challenges totally different way. Not only we are able to accommodate, we are able to process and ultimately we are able to go beyond and free from it. And that source is, once again, it is within us all the time. And that's why it's what I mean by to the point. To the point means wherever you are, whatever situation you are in, and whatever, however difficult it, it, it is, that you have to remember the refuge is here and within you, in this very moment within you, you have to be able to trust and turn your awareness inward toward that refuge and you can sense and feel it and then you feel immediately a protection and immediately guidance to whatever need to next step that next step that we need to take in our life where guidance can come from that place so uh, that is i what i mean by this uh to the point you know it's it's, it's right there so it's not like a you, know, you have to go somewhere you have to do something you have to call someone uh, you have to change something no right that place that moment in that situation is within you you have to trust and turn your awareness within yourself to find that place so uh, so that's amazing powerful and it's also the the source of all wellness, the source of all wellness, we can find um, a physical healing, we can find a emotional healing, we can find inner protection, we can find the guidance, and we can find, through this, we can find our absolute wellness, what we call great perfection, that everything is perfected in this situation, in this moment, and you will have that realization, no matter how difficult it is, there is a great perfection within, and recognizing that is the most powerful uh, way of feeling in a refuge. So also, this is also really like, uh, if you look at Buddhist teachings, uh, four doctrine systems, nine uh, yanas or nine ways. Uh, in the essence of four tenet system, nine yanas, all of this, and from my point of view, it comes right to this place of inner refuge. But of course, there is outer refuge. There is a Buddha, there is a Dharma, there is a Sangha, there is a Tsa, channels, there is a wind, there is a tigle, there are different forms of refuge. But this, the inner refuge, is the ultimate sense of refuge in all tradition, regardless of how much they emphasize or not, regardless of if they understand or not, regardless of being individually able to uh, understand it or not, or process it or not, or able to connect with it or not, but this is it. So I think that's important to trust that, that that is the essence of all the teaching, not only like Buddhist teaching, but I think in the in the true sense that every religion has a cultural aspect, a traditional aspect, um, the language, the forms, the rituals, ceremonies, symbolic meanings, but beyond all the forms, the formless essence, as every single human being, we all have the same, like we all have the same heart. Not like a Buddhist people have a different heart or Christian people have a different heart. We all have the same heart. We all have the same color of blood. Uh, we all have the same inner refuge, but we might try to understand it. We might uh, have a different stories about it. We might 
uh, relate to it differently, but there is one oneness of all humanity, oneness of all the truth is that we have within ourselves, and each one of us has, has that access to it. And uh, the, ultimately, this is it's important because this is the source of peace. This is a source of happiness because there is no peace unless each one of us as a nation, as a community, as a family, as an individual, each one of us, if we are not able to access that within ourselves, within our group, within our family, we will not have a peace. We will always arguing, we will always fighting, we will always have different wars, we will always have a different conflict. We will not know how to accommodate, process, resolve, and go beyond because we will be caught up in that story is because we lost the connection to our inner refuge. So, so this is the ultimate, uh, ultimate ways of finding the inner peace. This is also the ultimate way of finding inner joy because the only ways to have a full sense of joy, it's not what you have. It's not what you're trying to have. It's not what you have accumulated. We already know how much we have accumulated. They are not truly a source of our happiness. It is recognizing who we are and having this sense of containment, a sense of satisfaction of this present moment in our life. And no matter what situation or what kind of present moment it is, present moment, you're sad, recognizing the sadness. You're happy, recognizing the happiness. You, you face challenges, you're learning from the challenges. You are happy, you feel grateful being happy. So uh, some sense of connection and recognition of any situation in the moment is what makes us happy, more joyful. And that realization comes only through that inner refuge and the connection to our true self. So, so this is what I think um, really the purpose of it. And then I hope that every time, as we will doing the full moon practice for uh, every month, that means I, I would encourage all of you to learn uh, many of my books, many of my talks, YouTube talks, any places that I talk about refuge or three precious pills, and particularly those new people, I would encourage to search for them and learn about it and practice it, become more familiar with it, feel more stable in it, so that every month your practice is not changing. There are new, you have new challenges in your life. They might be coming from the same source, but they are all come from different forms and shapes and different stories, new challenges. But every time, no matter what challenge it is, but you have only single medicine, you have only a single approach, the inner refuge. Inner refuge should always protect you, always guide you and trust that. So uh, not trying to change the practice, but recognize different challenges are coming. So problems that you faced last year might not be the problem you're facing this month, this year, or problem that you felt last month the problem you might not face next month, but there will be something always a uh, situation will arise, but you have always one place to go for refuge, which is within yourself. And through the self-realization, understanding the nature of mind, understanding the innate awareness, understanding that Rigpa, uh, pure awareness. And that is the key here. So I hope this makes sense and I wish you all each time when you enter into inner refuge, it will you will feel peace, joy, protection, and you will feel also being guided through it individually and collectively. So that's my wish and prayer to all of you. Thank you so much. Many blessings. Much love.
Let's bring your full attention to your place, sacred space. In this special moment, all people together Our Cyber Sangha community practitioners all around the world participating together this very moment. Feel your heart open and give support to everybody who's participating and also feel their support in yourself. Bring your attention to your body. Feel this deep stillness, grounding qualities in your body. Feeling grounded, feeling centered. Feeling still. And also feel a deep sense of silence. Silence around and within you. a deep sense of inner peace in that silence. And also your heart is feeling fully open, like a crystal clear sky in the desert open, clear, luminous. Your heart is like a open, clear, luminous. Your mind is that luminous qualities in that boundless sky. So feeling stillness, grounded, feeling silence and peace, feeling open and luminous. The stillness, the silence, the spaciousness is the three door to the inner refuge. The more you can be grounded in these three dimensions, the easier it is to access the inner refuge. As we are experiencing these three doors of stillness of the body, silence of the speech, the spaciousness of the mind, as we are grounding more and more in it, while you are grounding more in it, breathe deep from your heart. Breathe in from your nostril. directly into your heart.
hold for a moment for five seconds then breathe deep out eight nine seconds out Pause for a moment. Breathe in again. So inhale deep from your nose. Hold in your heart. Exhale deep, slow from your nose. Twice longer than inhalation. Rest, rest in the end of exhalation. Repeat continuously. So learn to this deep breathing from your belly. From your diaphragm, from your heart. So all these three places are important from where you can breathe. They all have different functions, different benefits. So whatever you feel comfortable, breathe like that. As you're breathing out, be aware of whatever current challenge, if it is a physical challenge, illness, a chronic pain in your body, then when you breathe in, you bring your attention, awareness, through breath into those areas of your body where you have pain, where you are sick. So the, the aware breath of awareness is like the medicine that you're breathing in and bringing in those areas. It's processing, it's healing, and you breathe out these toxics and diseases out through your nose. So you work continuously clearing those from your body because maybe that is your challenge of the day, of the week, of the month. And those who are feeling very emotional crisis, a disturbing thoughts, then you breathe in these pure light of awareness into those underlying emotions actually which is causing those sickness pain but your focus will be on those emotion bring in the light of awareness into those darkness confusion of emotion and breathe out clear it so repeat your breath focusing on emotion those you are feeling emotional challenges. That's your personal work. The last and the third The cause, the root cause of these physical pain, illness is identity, the pain identity. Pain identity is causing, triggering these emotions and unable to manage these emotions for a long period of time, they are causing these physical conditions. So physical manifestation caused directly by these underlying emotions and these underlying emotion is directly caused by a deep pain identity. So those you want to work with a deeper place is to recognize what is your pain identity in a trauma, in a wound.
recognize that. The identity who is feeling not complete, not good enough, not beautiful enough, not capable enough, not strong enough, not fast enough, not presentable enough. Not good enough to do something, be with someone, be out in the world. That's some deep sense of a lack of something, identity, lack of something that you have been feeling. Go closer to that, recognize that and breathe it out. Imagine and feel that when I'm inhaling, I'm bringing the light of awareness and I'm also inhaling this light of awareness through all your breath, through this breath of medicine in you. When you exhale, you are clearing these sickness, these pains, these underlying emotion, these root cause of pain identity, you're clearing them. Every breath, every exhalation, you are different. You are elevated. You are uplifted. You are more healed. Trust that, feel that, and continuously breathe deep. As you continuously breathe that way, you begin to feel not only the stillness of your body, because body is still, there's not movement, it's not an absence of movement, it's the presence of awareness of the stillness, that's the inner refuge, door to inner refuge. It is not only absence of noise, the silence is not absence of noise. Silence is the presence of awareness of peace. The spaciousness is not only absence of thoughts, is the presence of light of awareness. As you breathe continuously deep, you will feel a deep sense of inner stillness, indestructible stillness, inner silence. No noise can affect. No one, no one's judgment can affect you, your inner silence. That is inner refuge. Your spaciousness, no thought can affect. No event can affect, no situation can affect. That indestructible awareness is your inner refuge. Feel that, connect with that, rest in that inner refuge and let it heal you, let it guide you and rest continuously through deep breathing as we listen to the Salavaya Mantra.